Hey everyone, this is Wade from fishfindermounts.com and I've got something really cool, a new product coming from fishfindermounts.com very, very soon. You're gonna see it on our website in the next week or less. Um, it is our Dave Scadden non-powered float tube mount kits. Really, Dave Scadden and I think Outcast that make these types of boats, they call them frameless pontoons. They're really a very large float tube um, in the same form factor as a Fish Cat 4. Uh, or those types of smaller YouTube flow tubes like the one you see here. I don't have uh, a Dave Scadden uh, Outlaw Renegade or a Detonator or all these different ones he calls them. They're all very violent names by the way, I just <laughs> thought I'd mention it. But uh, there's also the Out Outcast uh, Scout and the Stealth Pro and so what's going on in those float tubes is they actually or those frameless pontoons they actually have oars mounted onto them right on top of the tube and you guys that have them know that um, so the issue is if you want to put a fish finder on those and we have many customers and we've been doing this for a while that that do buy our products our powered products um, you have to actually mount it to the interior three o'clock let's call it or even potentially a nine o'clock position you know bay, i always go on my opposite side of my casting side i'm a fly fisherman fly fishing for trout typically is what i do so uh, we've had powered systems for a while but we've come up with a non-powered mount as the camera can see right here and i want to stress in this video that we are making all fish finders. Our stuff is universal. All fish finders portable. And I've got three different fish finders here. I've got Garmin, I've got a Lowrance, I've got a Hummingbird, Helix 5, Garmin Striker 4, DV Plus or CV Plus, and a Lowrance um, 4X, Hook 2 4X here, GPS. So I've got those. I'm going to show you what that looks like on our Dave Scadden non-powered we're using his term because he's he, his products are sort of the preeminent in the frameless pontoon that's that's he's probably got the biggest market there um so we were using that as sort of the moniker for this mount because most people have those boats when they call us but again it works for the outlaw uh, or sorry i should say the super fat or the outcast stealth pro and the outcast scout as well there's some other um similar tubes out there by some other different manufacturers that don't come to my mind right away but there this would also be applicable there's some actually there's some tubes coming from europe now too uh that are just small have uh, uh paddles on them and integrated and everything so just going with this uh, I, I, before I go a little bit further, I should say too, is like those frameless pontoons we're talking about, they're quite large. They're like, you know, I would say that your cavity of where you sit is as big as the, you know, probably the dimension of the outside to outside of this float tube. So you have a lot of space inside. And I want to, I want to stress that because when I put this in here, you're going to like, wow, that doesn't leave up that much space for my feet, my knees or whatever to be kicking and stuff. Well, don't worry because you got a ton of space in those things and it's sitting out here you're not going to have a problem with that space factor but i have to use this this flow tube that i have for demonstration because that's what i have so i'm going to i'm going to do that right now so what we do is you want to put our non-power dave scadden mount here on the strap first okay and there are some strap slots here you can see right here and right here, they're on the underside as well. This is contoured, this our universal plate here is contoured nicely, so it actually fits the contour of your, your actual um, air bladder, round air bladder nicely as well. So we'll just take our strap here, and we're gonna go through this guy first. You go up and over, the video can get in close, the camera. We're gonna go up and over, and then underneath. The underside here and up back through and you're just going to take this guy all the way to the buckle this is the best way to do it right here so you see the buckle there and you take this guy around and you're going to strap it on but before we do that what we need to have here also is our strap on transducer mount this thing is awesome as well very very cool 
I'm going to just take this guy and keep the fishfindermounts.com logo up for cosmetics sake. And we're just going to move this little battery powered cable. I'll show you more about that in a sec. And I'll just station it here just so things aren't falling. And again, with their strap on transducer mount, you're going to go up from the upside to the top side. You're going to go underneath and back through the strap slot on that side. Um, and uh, I've actually put it on the wrong way. We're going to go this side first. We have to keep the, the uh, logo is going to have to be upside down. That's the way it is. Take this guy through it's like so. Just like you see here. And then we're going to take our strap, our cam buckle strap. And you go through the first strap slot that's closest to where it's stitched here. And you're going to come up and you're going to come back down and through. And now we are going to start to arrange how we want this to look or be on your Dave Scadden outlaw detonator destroyer whatever it may be <laughs> so we've got that guy down the water and that's how it's going to basically look overall fantastic just gonna take this guy and tighten it up a little bit further you probably want to hide this strap somewhere. I usually just tuck it in somewhere like so. And now you have the basic elements to get your Helix 5 mounted on your Dave Scadden frameless pontoon or your Outcast, Outcast Fish Cat Scout or Stealth Pro Frameless Pontoon. So what we've done here, I wanna just call everybody's attention to this. These plates that we have, our 4.5 plates are very, very thick and they're designed that you can drill your own hole pattern. And in the case of the Helix 5, we have determined that you, when you're mounting it on here, now this is going to be, we would turn this around actually. Let's do that right now. We'll quickly turn it around. You guys can turn it around on the bracket, okay? Just by doing, loosening these guys off. Oops. Just take this guy, turn it around, remount it. Just like, oh, I have to turn a bit more. There you go. And now it's gonna be good for this side. Okay, and then boom, it just pops on like so. So our Helix 5 is the one we're gonna power up, but I'm gonna show you all the other fish finders can go on here. But I wanted to again say, hey, you will probably have to, for the Helix 5 at this point in time, we will add this whole pattern likely to our library of holes on here for mounting your gimbal bracket or your post, like you see here with the Gar Garmin Striker for CV Plus. You will have to mount, you screw your holes down, or put your holes in here possibly if you're buying this very, very soon. Later on down the road, we'll likely have this Helix 5 pattern in this way. Typically, these fish finders would be mounted this way, but we've got it kind of to the side so that you have some swivability in you know, the whole bit, you know, the rotational uh, ergonomical adjustment that you're going to want and you can lock that guy in. So we've done that. We've drilled the holes ourselves in this case to get the Helix 5 screen on there nicely. Now, the thing is, is what do we do next, Wade? How are we getting power to that? Well, I've got our battery from fishfindermounts.com, our five amp hour battery. This is gonna give you a good long day out on the water. We sell this battery actually on our accessories webpage. And by the way, you guys should visit www.fishfindermounts.com. Go to our, if you're interested in this, this is gonna be on our float tube mounts page. 
Um, so you would go to fishfindermounts.com, top left corner, shop, and then underneath there, float tube mounts is the link or the subcategory. You click on that and you'll be looking for the Dave Scadden non-powered float tube mount kit or frameless pontoon mount kit as many of you know it. But I have our battery, which is on our accessories page. So shop accessories, you can buy, we have various batteries you can buy. This is our five amp hour uh, battery here. Make sure that you, um, you know, obscure or tape off or do something to make sure that one of these, one of your uh, anodes or cathodes are actually, you know, like uh, sealed or uh, insulated. Because if you got your pliers or your forceps or whatever against this, it would, it would be dangerous. You don't want that. Make sure that you seal one of them off at least. So we've done that. We've got it in the pocket. We need to get power to our Helix 5 fish finder. We have the Helix 5 transducer right here. And we have the power cable right here. I've actually taken one of our cable ties and just kind of neatly put it all together like so. And we are going to take the power cable here. We've got the fish finder loosened off nicely right now. And underneath here, the camera will have to come down low. There's a little nub here that keys in to the back. That's the power cable. And we're going to take the power, the power uh, wire here. And you might want to tie this off somewhere within your boat um, to some kind of uh, feature set or whatever you may have. And you just take your power cable from your battery. And we sell these, even we sell, guys, we even sell on our accessories page these power cables. So it's just plug and play. I really highly recommend getting a set of these from us if you're doing your own, even your own projects, you know, you, because you can't keep putting these terminals on and off these batteries. These things here weaken off very, very quickly and they're gonna be garbage if you're constantly taking them on and off. This guy here is designed to be plugged in hundreds of times. So we have these cable sets per, uh, for available on fishfindermounts.com under our accessories page. So here you go. Here's your power cable. And let's see if we are successful in powering the Helix 5. We'll just see if, we'll just tilt it like this so the camera can see easily. And we'll just power that guy on right there. Now we're gonna take and you can see we do have power and we're going to take it's saying we don't see the transducer that's fine because we know the transducer is not hooked up i'm going to show you guys how to put your helix 5 transducer on to our strap-on transducer mount this guy here i like to call this a sliding aperture so you take your wing nut off here it acts like a clamp essentially Take this guy off. You might want to tighten this guy up so it stays in place for now. And you, I like to, this, this here I call our fork washer. It slides into these grooves. It's got a mating, you know, proud um, slot, you know, rail that would go into this groove here. You take that off. We'll just put that there for now. You take your transducer, your Helix 5 transducer, as simple as this from Hummingbird. And we just, Pop that guy on. I hope the camera can see this detail. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just level this guy off, move my hand out of the way. Boom, you've got your Helix 5 transducer on there. And then we just take this guy here, take our wing nut, and bada boom, bada bang on there nicely ready to go and you want it facing this way because you're kicking backwards that's how it would be if there's a transom of your boat you're kicking backwards so that's the right way or the best way to put it i would suggest and then you take your transducer cable again you may want to tie that up or tuck it away somewhere uh, within everything we include cable ties we'll probably give you a couple cable ties with this kit to help you sort your cables out a little bit but ultimately what we are going to do is connect the transducer down on the hummingbird. It's down this fat plug or this wider plug, if you want to call it that. It goes right here. And now that's also connected to your Helix 5. So here you have an awesome solution 
for your Dave Scadden frameless style type boats. I'm using that like the word jacuzzi because he's sort of preeminent in the frameless pontoon design department. And a lot of guys, they're coming to us. Now we've got a non-powered solution, so if you prefer to have it very light um, and you want your battery on top in the pocket there, you don't want our battery box as we have today on the side in the interior, you want that up away from the water into your pocket, no problem. This system's going to do that for you here. Again, www.fishfindermounts.com, shop, float tube mounts, that's where it's going to be. I might also put it on the pontoon mounts page, but probably just the float tube mounts page. So just look there first if you're looking for it on our website. We'll put a link down below in the description. Make sure you subscribe to our channel uh, here, our, our uh, YouTube channel, by hitting the subscribe button, hitting the bell. And uh, under the description of the video here, we'll have some links of where you can get all this stuff. Again, visit our website, www.fishfindermounts.com. Um, now I wanna finalize this whole video by just showing you guys one final thing. We've shown the power here, the Helix 5 is all powered up and, and everything. It's in simulation mode. You can see it's all powered up, the whole enchilada. And if you were in your Dave Scadden boat, you would have it this way. And again, you guys are going to have way more room in those float tubes than this little fish. This is not going to be for a little fish cat, uh, super fat cat float tube like you see here. This is for, again, your Dave Scadden frameless style type pontoons. But I'm going to take this guy off, unhook it from power, show you guys how easy this is to do. You know, you can just take this guy. You could take the screen off the other way, but you just unwind your black T-knob, pull that guy right off, and then you take your, you can take your transducer mount off just by taking this black T-knob off. You know, like maybe you're parking your tube on the beachfront for the night or whatever. And you can just take this off your tube, put it aside, put it somewhere out of, uh, you know, um, sticky hands, out of the way of sticky hands or what have you. And away you go. But I want to show you guys not just the Helix 5. It's not just for the Helix 5. We've got the Garmin Striker 4 CV Plus. Now, this is our 3x3 three three or 3.0x3.0 3 3 mounting plate here. That means it's 3 inches by 3 inches roughly in real estate here. And uh, just one note with the Garmin Striker series, they've got a rotational base already on here and you want it overhanging a little bit. By the way, guys, a lot of guys call me. They don't know what's going on here. They're like trying to take things apart and figure things out. The Garmin Striker 4, a lot of guys, they, when they get this thing, they get really confused. Just look, there is a lever here, okay? You pull it down and you slide you slide it apart. You can't pull it apart, you gotta slide it apart because there's actually a relief slot here that mates with this other side here. So you, again, just click it back together. It's a cool little design. When you put this on our 3.0 plate, and I would recommend our 3.0 plate, there's gonna be an option for this product here where you can select your size of mounting plate. In this case, here's our 4.5 mounting plate and here's our 3.0 mounting plate. Um, I am recommending, or I'm going to, I'm just saying, I'm going to draw your attention to the Garmin Striker 4 CV Plus or all those different bases. Their rotational base is the same. It's got three mounting screws in a triangle format, as you can see here. And you want it to overhang our 3.0 plate slightly. You can see the triangle format where the three screws are on the back of this guy. Some guys get confused and think it's these guys here. Um, and they just, they, you know, they get confused by that, but no, it's, it's, you want it overhanging a little bit there. It's sturdy. It's, it's on there strong. You don't have any worries or concerns. It's, it's going to be work fantastic for you. And again, I want to show you guys here. It is again, our universal fish finder mounting systems. You can make your fish finder, all fish finders portable. And this guy can rotate. It's just, just fabulous, just super smooth and nice. That guy can rotate, uh, and then you can lock it down so it doesn't move. And your transducer, I've showed that to you as well. It is, uh, I don't have the Garmin Striker uh, transducer here, but this is universal. So all these different transducers, here is your Lowrance Hook 24X GPS right there. 
They've come out with the reveal series now, so this is a little bit older now, but still quite relevant. Um, even the Hook 2 reveal, any fish finder from the major manufacturers, um, I'm recommending a four to five inch screen, no bigger than that. You're gonna be able to put it on this fantastic Dave Scad non-powered tube mount kit from fishfindermounts.com. Give us a call, 1-855-784-3474. And I'm Wade. Thanks for watching, everyone.